So when you get down to the end of the game, you have to let people know once you get down to one card. And in this game, you're going to call out Omaha. So Omaha signals to your opponents that you have one card left. Now, what you're not going to do is you're not going to discard first and say Omaha. How we're going to do it is this. So what you're going to do is before you lay down the second to last card, you're going to say Omaha before you release this card from your hand. So And then you're safe. There's no penalty. So you'll go Omaha, lay this down, and you have one card left, and you're good to go. If you let go of your hand from here and you don't say Omaha, that's when you can get penalized. So we're going to learn something else in the game called hitting, where you can hit somebody else with a card uh, in the game. Um, and in that situation, you don't have to say Omaha when you release that card from your hand if it, if it leaves you with one card left. But you do have to say Omaha before you say pass or motion to the next player. So if you uh, lay it down and then pass or motion, don't call Omaha, you can be penalized, but you can't if you do that and then you say Omaha and then you say pass or motion to the next player. So in this game, uh, one final thing with Omaha, uh, there's going to be a couple instances in the game where you actually don't have to call Omaha if you've got one card left. So uh, those situations are if you get rid of multiple cards at once. So you'll learn hitting later in the game if I hit this person with the O right here and then I discard right here and I'm out of the game. Um, even though I ended up with one card left like that, um, you actually don't have to call, call Omaha. So basically in situations where no other player is able to go and you have one card left, then those are situations where you actually don't have to call, call Omaha because they weren't even able to defend you anyways. So the main purpose of alerting people that you have one card left is so they can prepare uh, some way of defending you or, or doing something to where you can't get out of the game. So if you skip everyone or get rid of multiple cards at once, there's no point and it doesn't matter if you call Omaha or not. Um, also, you're going to learn later in the game about stacking. So you're able to stack two cards at the same time. So if I do this and then I stack this right here, getting rid of multiple cards at once, again, situation where I don't have to call Omaha. So um, other cards you'll learn later in the game that do skip everybody uh, is this uh, end around right here, reverse, or this uh, clean sweep handoff right here, or this Hail Mary, which allows you to go again. So in those situations, since it's skipping everybody and going back to you, then you don't have to call Omaha. Okay. Now you might skip everybody and not be able to discard your last card. In that instance, then you're going to be picking up uh, from, the, from the pylon here. And then if you get rid of that card, or say we have this right here, and we pick this up, discard, then you will have to say Omaha because it's going to go to a new player. So it's just in instances where um, you're skipping everybody so they can't make a move on you anyways are situations where you actually don't have to call Omaha. That's it. So next we're going to get to the Omaha penalty. So if I discard this without saying Omaha and I'm caught, then I have to pick up two cards here from the pylon. All right. Now... If the next player goes and I don't say Omaha and they finish their turn, I'm safe if someone didn't catch it by the time the next player finishes their turn. Okay? Or if that player is still finishing their turn and I catch myself before somebody else catches me and I say Omaha, I'm safe as well. So it's just if I release this and the next player is going and someone catches beforehand, that's when I can get penalized and I pick up two cards. And again, if I don't get caught saying it, that will reset if I end up with more cards in my hand again and I don't say Omaha again. So to add a little bit of creativity to the game, uh, you do not have to say Omaha to signal that you have one card left. You can do anything that you want to signal that you have one card left. So whether that's a dance, a shimmy, you want to make some crazy noise, you want to call out your team, you can do whatever you want to do as long as it it, it, it pulls attention that you have one card left. So now you guys might want to go over that rule at the beginning of the game and just if you have a particular buzzword you want to say or whatever or whatever nonsense you want to do to show that you have one card left, you can do that uh, instead of saying Omaha. So have fun with it.